and we are back with another cast this time we're in the absolute finals of the um ymca world championship 2023 and with me is helmut is my name i didn't know we we're gonna cast in english i oh, didn't sorry. do Did you, uh, can you do an english course just in between and yeah. we re-record in 10 minutes yeah the, the duolingo um all is already behind my back threatening my whole life okay nice very good that's that's our secret supporter um yeah let's just start a game the first match is on tune patrol um actually uh, the sexy sex man is lord svergenug and he has um made his way through the loser bracket so um yeah. Carl M only needs to win one matchup. It's the best of three uh, to win the championship and become the world champion. Whereas Sexy Sexman must win two matchups, as it works in double elimination. Let's go. And I think uh, I've started the replay. It's loading. Yes. Okay. Cool. So on the right side we have um, the not player Sexy Sexman, and on the left side Carl M. I think this is the map choice of sexy sex man because he knows that the screenplay is really strong in late game with his um, air vessels air armada stuff um so i think he's going for a rush here he picked a small map i don't think it's something that um Carl M is confident mm -hmm. with i'm already impressed by the high apm so many buildings going up at once yeah can can we see the apm somewhere yeah it's like 44 48 yeah oh. if you press on the upper left the basic yeah. information box but that's not yeah. it's not comparable to starcraft or other stuff yeah um because the apm here are only actions that really happen so usually other I games see, yeah, measure apm like every click but here selection does not give apm only if you really order something so it should be like double the number that you see here, or maybe even a bit more mm, than double. That, the famous APM spam in the beginning. Yeah, this Push does not count, count here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we already see early rush and aggression. Uh, we have some interloper and some um, wrecking bikes. The wrecking bikes yeah. actually are not a bad choice against these interlopers here, but they're just too much. And yeah, mm. the wrecking bikes are squishy. I think he wanted to go for some harvesters, and it obviously worked. He took out two harvesters. Oh, but now the screen army oh, looks much, conflict. much stronger. What? First conflict. I was just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The screen army is is big, but not player is going for it. But I don't think he's going out alive of, the, of this. But I think if we look at the earnings, no, the screen player is ahead, or is is the same level of earnings. Mm. Okay, but a, lo a lot of light tanks coming in, infantry is coming. Ah, now there's the drop. Yeah, yeah. Now the earnings of the screen player dropped a lot. And that's the harvester as he lost. So if not can keep up the pressure, not has a big advantage here. Yeah. It's definitely very busy bringing in those tanks. Yeah, I mean, this is a big disadvantage. Not needs these airplanes to come in and bring the stuff. So you t need a bit more time to recover if mm. you've lost the battle like the last one. You said it was a, a, a mistake now to wait so long because uh, Carl M was running out of resources and he should have taken advantage of it by pushing now. I think Red is now uh, just taking the advantage because the echo mm. is higher and he's piling up a bigger army and then he can take the advantage. I guess this is not going to work here, the attempt to... Yeah. But he did to go move. behind the lines yeah, yeah, with yeah. the wrecking bags. But now he the tries. The bottom. Yeah. yeah, just the other side. But he already saw it. And oh, ah, yeah, yeah. The interlopers that can sh do short range teleport. That was a good move here. Mm. You often forget this stuff, or I often forget this. And here also, comes. Yeah. The, the big fight. The big fight. But meanwhile, the wrecking bikes finally do their thing. Hmm. But the fight was also won by the not player. If you look at the army value, no, there was no big difference. The boss seemed to have quite some cash. 
Yeah. Maybe the economy was suffering a bit because of the micro of the fighting. Yeah, 7,000, 4,000, it's true. But I think not has won this now. Mm. The harvesters are down. There's like four, three left and I guess not has like four. Okay, this is not really over. Oh, but he's not targeting the, the rocket launchers with the anti-infantry tower. Now the harvest is getting... Oh, oh wow, now it's over. Yeah. These wrecking bikes South. here. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, yeah. GG. Good game. Fast and to the point. Let's go for the next game. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. What uh, is the next game? Wait, you for you it's easier to find. Um, I think the next game should be two sides naval okay. duration 1855. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Okay, let's go. Battle control initialized. Okay, I see a bigger map. A yeah. little water. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is two sides. Strangely, now I cannot see both players. Last replay, I saw mm -hmm. both. Now I can must select one. But it's only on this map. Super strange. Um, yeah, I mean, this map... Um, I think it's very likely this is the choice of uh, Karl M. Because on this map, he can prevent rushes be since there's only a... A small corridor in the middle and then go into the late game units and freak out with air armada um, which is really hard to stop um, shall we go on 200 percent and speed up the early game a bit all right uh, can you count down uh, i already clicked sorry now all right, click. All right. you click for three seconds then i join in okay no countdown three two one go I hope we are somehow in sync, I don't know. Yeah, for me, the, the riflers are now almost in the middle of the corridor from red. Yeah, 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 pretty much the same. Okay, cool. Now they are in the oh, middle. Yeah, first conflict. Yeah, sure. It's not, not very it's interesting. Like, uh, yeah, it just, just a cannot pass situation, right? Like you hold the bridge and yeah. uh, wait until you have aircraft. Or artillery. Artillery, okay. Or you could go and build some naval ships. But yeah, it's... The problem is if you go for a rush, it's a really long distance. Your rush units have to go. And mm. then the, the defenders already had a lot of time to build more stuff. So you're like attacking with an army from the past. And this long distance of moving, it does not matter anymore in the later game. So if you yeah. would go all in and really pump out like 40 tanks, it's possible to break through. But the problem is the other player then has also tagged and it's very likely he can build very good counter units. So here in this game, countering tier one and two with three and four is usually very devastating for the low tier units. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he's but he's building a lot of low tier units also. I think he wants to have more colony uh, platforms like the, the construction yards of Screen to get up the uh, tech buildings faster and not waste so much building time on tech buildings. Um, yeah, the red player is aggressively going for uh, construction buildings, so he's absolutely aiming for the late game and mm -hmm. scaling up massively. Oh, he built an Illuminati pyramid or something. Temple yeah. Temple Prime. Temple Prime, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the tier, going deep. This is the tier four uh, of not. Now his infantry are cyborgs, uh, and that basically means he cannot rush through with tier one, tier two units. Yeah, it's no longer possible because if you just keep building rocket cyborgs and uh, cyborg yeah. reaper and infantry, then this is really good at fending off early tanks. Now they come scout with venoms. You see that? Yeah, it's just a scout, or can they attack? They can attack, but I don't think they okay. can do any damage here. That is that's meaningful. Yeah. They're just fast and mobile and see a lot. So they they are good at infantry. They have a laser, but yeah. nothing of. Uh, is it possible that Carl M is capping in cash. Thirty thousand is their cap. 
Uh, yes, if his, all his refineries are full and his silos, then he's nice. kept, yeah. Okay. But 30,000 is a lot, wow. Yeah, big and advantage there. I think he just built too many refineries and not enough production facilities, because if we look at the army craft... Ah, okay, Carl M also has a bigger army. So he's just doing a better job here at scaling up. Sexy Sexman now has the first army to push, I guess. Oh, wow. Advancing the army craft. Ui, ui, ui. The army craft of... Uh... Okay, we have to first fight. Shall we go down to 100% speed? Yeah. Um, let's go at 8.30. Then we go down to 100%, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm down at 8.30. Okay. Um, yeah. I think a screen is at an insane advantage here. Do you see that? Like the army craft. Oh my god. Even though the earnings are quite similar. So where is not spending his money? Okay, he's now trying yeah. to get it with ships. You see that? Yeah. And I these the ships, ships, they are sea scorpions, anti-airship. Um, yeah. It looks okay. I mean, it looks the, okay. the army value of the screen air armada is so much more. So it's yeah, no it surprise, but I think if he keeps building these sea scorpions like crazy, he can kill these air units. It looks okay here in this situation. And then yeah, it started a bit Pearl Harbor, but now he's fighting back. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the army is doing a great job at taking out uh, the, the ground unit with these multi -lock rocket launcher systems, SSM launchers here. I think the artillery is in a bit in trouble now, getting out of flank by... Yeah, it's they are all dead, right? I mean, the Sea Scorpions do a good job here, but still too slow in, in taking out this stuff. Okay, yeah, the army craft now has equalized. I think. Looks yeah. Earnings he are held similar the bridge, well. though. <laughs> but. Oh, let's. I switch to Kal M. Yeah, his air army is, is, is big. Oh, when there goes a buzzer swarm through the infantry of the not player, this is devastating. The Pluta Baron field is empty, I see. On the right, how is it for Carl M? He has some left. Oh, both are out of cash. Nobody has a big pile of cash left. All right. There are a lot of planes circling um, for the red player. Is this? Yeah, yeah, he he, but he solved this with the reinforcements coordinator. Ah, okay. Because that allows that the, inf the, the reinforcements are directly dropped on the field, and no okay. longer need a free airstrip. But that was a real problem in that wor old version of the. Now this was fixed, but back then, if the airstrips are crowded with these planes, you had to wait for units. But I think he has lost all the ships now. So it's not... I think it's not going well for Nod. Mm. He's also having difficulties coordinating this whole army. That's always standing a bit back behind. The red army? Yeah. Kalem usually mobilizes everything. I think his army just sucks Which... as hell against the oh, I think you think it's, he's protecting them, the cyber? Yeah, I think he has to go away because he will just lose out. Okay. Oh, and he tried it with Benji's, and it was uh, not a success, I would say. I mean, the idea to get Benji's is not so bad because um, these Benji's, they shoot some projectiles that cannot be stopped by point defense lasers. Mm. Um, but still, the, uh, the air armada is just too crazy big. Mm. He's just taking him out with that. 
I think it would be a real surprise yeah. if not can come back from this. So far, the bridge is still holding. He has some ships, some scorpions in the north. But only on his side. He needs the scorpions on the other side nice. to really stop the air force. That way he can be kited. Yeah. Okay, Carl, I'm now advancing over the bridge. The, the ground force is coming in as well, right? Yeah. Okay, now, now the okay. Cyborg Reapers can shoot with their missiles on the Air Force. That's good. Okay. That, that can change some things. But with this, this huge gap in the army value, I think it's just a matter of time. Yeah, Carl M not rushing, taking his time. Oh, there comes the next buzzer swarm. Really annoying. Yeah, but this army is just taking taking value to over the time and he cannot stop that. It's growing bigger and bigger. I think the screen air dominance, the death ball, the air death ball is now dominating this game. So what would you say were the what would the best counter be for this air domination? Um, the Banshees you mentioned, if they were built earlier? Or? I think no, on this map he uh, needs to uh, pick a faction that has ships that shoot rockets, okay. that shoot missile. Because the, yeah. the sea scorpions, they shoot these small flak projectiles, but against these heavy airships you need missiles. Okay. And I mean the Cyborg Reapers do a good job, but... Um, he is at an advantage because there's the water. He can just fall back and come back forth and back and forth. So yeah. he can never really push him and chase down his air units. We have seen matchups where this shit here happened, but the not player was able to f fend it off with getting enough cyber creepers in. But on this map, that's different. Like you see now he's trying exactly that. Yeah. One last push. He's just trying to chase down the air units, which works to some extent. So if the missiles hit the carriers, that's great. But then he has to go back and then yeah. it goes back and forth and the losses are too great at the north side. I mean, there's now even more than 100k different in, difference in army value. That is uh, insane. I think not can give up here at this oh my god oh, what 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 oh, what point is this this is the super weapon the rift of screen okay that's a great hit good placement brings even more trouble for the not player the not player has no super weapon i guess and yeah, has given up at this point yeah i mean I, I guess he just tried it and yeah. wanted to see if he can get him if he's getting on land and then chasing with the rocket infantry mm. and realized it's not working and then he gave up Um, okay, so now it's 1-1, one, one, and uh, the next match can be the last one. Uh, I think this should be the All That Glitters version. Yep. So, um, we saw two sides naval, now All That Glitters. 11 minutes and 14 seconds, you got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm ready. Okay, let's go for it. I started it. All um, right. Yeah, now I can see both players again. Strange. Yeah. Um, so this is exactly what I meant. The map where it's possible to chase, um, chase down this air armada, yeah. because there's just ground everywhere, and they can just follow them. They can't hide in the sea. Yeah, yeah. I I remember this map. I played this map once. Endless resources. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the resources might end at some point. So, if the game goes like 30 minutes, you often the, the resources are mined. But um, on this map, there's the playtime is more like 10 to 20 minutes. Mm. Usually. I mean, this is yeah. one on one, and then this is more like a two on two map. 
but for one on one, the resources are really, really big. Yeah. All right. The reckon bikes already on the way, I guess, to catch some early miners. Yeah, I think he just thought like first game it worked, then second game no way to do that, and now just try it again. Maybe he has forgotten mm -hmm. that this might happen. But maybe, maybe. oh, this will be interesting. There's an interloper. The it's not the best scout unit, the interloper. He, this visual range is, is small. Oh, and he moves away. This might be the lucky moment for the North player. Oh, there's, that's that's a pity. Let's see if he takes out the harvester. Uh, he sacrifices the bikes. There we go. He, he got the harvester to bike. That's okay. I think a bike costs 500 and the harvester 1,400. So I think the trade was not too bad. Yeah, the mask checks out. Can you repair the bike? Uh, yes, but you need a repair yeah. bay, but I think they're going okay. to get this anyway. The the screenplay already has a repair bay. Um, but um, it's also, it might be some good value because the screenplay is now afraid of more of this stuff and getting more defense mm -hmm. and playing more conservatively. So such a Harris can have this advantage. Also yeah. th this advantage. But also... Um, it can be a, it can be a problem because you're wasting your focus on this Harris, and uh, you you're neglecting your own economy, and then yeah. the opponent might be better off still, even though you just mm -hmm. destroyed four hundred cash, more than you lost. So, but from the from the army craft, not is looking good. From the earnings craft, also. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Yeah, not is totally exploding here. But I think Screenplay is now investing more in army. Definitely moving his interlopes to the north. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the big sure. surprise of this tournament was that the Screenplay took, uh, pulled out these interlopers and dominated with these a lot. Yeah. Because um, back then they were dealing a lot of damage even to heavy vehicles. And this was changed later, so they are mostly uh, strong against light and infantry, as they are supposed to be. And yeah. um, But then the players adapted over time and started building minigunners and rocket soldiers against these, which would usually not a good choice, but since back then the uh, weapon type of the interloper was a heavy laser, it made sense to get infantry. Th that was mainly the solution to stop these interlopers from dominating this whole mm. tournament, getting more infantry up. Yeah. He, decided to invest one commander point into stealth harvesters. Yes, there we go. Good scouting. He knows the interlopes coming now. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. But I think at this point the army of screen is, is bigger, right? Oh, but he yeah. he's getting steamrolled. The way he moves in, it's not attacking, not dealing damage. He lo loses too much at the even at the engagement. Yeah, has a fall back here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's chasing for them. Good decision. Okay, both players have a drop in their earnings now. Let's see. That might be because their silos are full. But uh, this is yeah. a, this is a lot of action for minute five. There were already a lot of units crunched here. They prepare for another attack. Screen is expanding here. Interesting. With more interlopes, didn't change anything with its army. Is this is this a good thing? Is there some upgrade? No, it's a bad idea, I guess. Uh, he, yeah, the usually the interlopers are upgraded so they can shoot against air, no longer against ground. Then they are really good anti-air yeah. unit. Another upgrade would be that they can transport infantry. Um, but that's not really what he wants here, I guess. Oh, no, he, he can teleport. He can upgrade. Infantry transportation goes always. Always works. Uh, -oh. uh I think it, that's not going well here. Yeah, Interlop's trying to get on the back line. I mean, he's focusing uh, on the tank. That's good. But the rocket infantry is also a problem for him. Now some seekers come in as well. Yeah. 
Oh, but the, I think this fight did not work too... too no, it was not too bad for the screen player. Now he's taking advantage of no, yeah. the reinforcements. Here are some left that could harass a bit, but... So... I think now, if we look at the army, screen might be a little bit ahead. Let's see when the next update comes in the graph. Oh, but now come the scorpion tanks. Do you see them? Yes. They have lasers and they will change a lot here. In this, If he keeps going with interlopers and stuff, it's an uphill battle for a screen. Uh, yeah, screen is a bit ahead with the army. Earnings of not are better. So... I think screen must go for air now. It cannot stay on these ground units. Um, it's also getting the red player has a lot more power. What do you mean with power? He like one thousand power. I don't know. Like, isn't this like a something energy level or ah, something? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know where I can see that even. In the it? basics, I see it under power. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, I think he's just going for some extra. Um, it's. Oh, but he has 1,125 of 1,200. So yeah. there's not much extra. He really uses all that power. Exactly. So this means like he has more research or whatever. Yeah, he has more power consuming buildings, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think it's he has more construction facilities. All more right. Airstrips. Is he taking advantage of it because he's always so far ahead with the cash? Seems like the economy might be a bit left behind as soon as the micro starts. Yeah, yeah. So both are equal now with the earnings and with army, but the, the, the not players on tier 3 and the screen players on tier 1 and 2, that's not going end. Oh, okay, here's some reflector on the... The Seekers, that's not too bad. So the Seeker have a Reflector Armor upgrade. So mm -hmm. At least some of them. That means that the lasers will not do much damage against them. Oh, okay. So he should really take care that his Scorpion tanks do not shoot lasers on Reflector units. Yes. Now the air is coming in. Oh, yeah. Interesting. The Storm Riders. Um, but they're running away already. No? Ah, but he's focusing on the heavy tanks. He should focus on the rocket infantry. Oh, and the buzzer swarm. And second wave reinforcement coming in. Yeah, I think it will be really hard now when Nod starts pumping in all these units. Screen will have a hard time. That's yeah, a short break, Christmas break, singing Christmas songs. What? You don't know, like from the First World War? Oh, yeah, yeah, you think now it's Christmas time. Yeah. Why else would they take a little break? Yeah, I mean, for not, there's not a real reason not could just push on. The army is great here to counter him. He could just try to take some hits with the Storm Riders, but there's maybe too many rocket soldiers. The problem is that the Seeker with the Reflector Armor, they suck against the Flame Tanks. Mm. So What about the uh, Warships coming in? Can they uh, yeah, turn yeah, this the, around? This is not too bad, especially against the Infantry, they will deal a lot of damage. Um, but it's just three, so if the Rocket Soldiers just focus yeah. the Airships... Oh my god, he's flying in! <gasps> oh. Then he loses them all. Might have been a misclick. I, I think he I think, wanted to click on I, the infantry yeah, yeah. and I think hit a spot. It, it was a misclick. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's over for a uh, screen. There it is. Oh, yeah, he, he gives up. Um, GG. So this means that there is another final match. Um, so this is the first yeah. matchup between the two. 
is um, uh, is a two one for the sexy sex man. So this means he's now both are now in the loser bracket, so to say, and now it's like a real final. And um, mm. it was like I don't know two o'clock, half past two in the night when this was happening, and then um, both players discussed. And they decided to uh, roll with with a fun map, because actually they have they, they were allowed to um, agree on maps outside of the pool if both agree. So um, yeah. then they decided they would have a extra small map. I think. Uh, what is the right one? I think this one. You have the. Um, T O O seventeen twenty three. Extra small map. Yeah, I have that. So this map is so small that both players just start next to each other, and um, it's a fun yeah. map. And it will go really slow because both were just exhausted after this whole day of tournament, okay. and they just decided let's go with a faster thing and let's decide with that map. Um, so they had fun. Yeah. I think this saved the uh, sexy sex man's ass. Okay. Um, because in the in the regular match, I don't know how exhausted Carl M was, but uh, in in a regular match they would have had more two sides because in the second final, two sides would have been the default map, and Carl M could have picked two sides again. So he would have two games with his favorite map. This is a big advantage for him. So I think negotiating out uh, this fun map is an advantage for Sex Sexman. And they decided to make only one game. So not best of three, just one game and then that's that. Um, we can see here already before we start the replay that Sex Sexman decided to play GDI instead of uh, not that he usually plays. Which is a strange decision at first glance because GDI is a late game faction with really strong wow. tier 4 units. Um, but I think we will see why he does that. Let's start, right? Yeah. Okay, I press now. Yeah. Battle control initialized. Okay, you see both players start in the middle. And I think they have agreed that they go on opposite edges and not just start right away. So, uh, yeah, this map has some hidden uh, oil derricks in the corners. I don't know if you can see them. I see them, yeah. And these give the players a bit of cash. Ah, okay. and I think they have both agreed to move in the edge, and then they just bump their fist and start building. So they have a fair match. <laughs> okay, so now the GDI is, of course, getting up barracks, and... Oh, Screen is getting up war factories. War spheres, where he builds vehicles. That's a surprise, I think. And I think the reason is EMP grenadiers. So the reason why GDI is going for... Um, or why he's going for GDI is EMP Grenadiers because they are so good. They're just in the early game extremely strong. If they hit the, the vehicle, mm -hmm. it's going to be disabled. So one hit by EMP Grenadier, and yeah, here you see it. Yeah. The vehicle is just disabled for a short amount of time, and that can make yeah. a, a huge difference. Oh, yeah. It's getting overwhelmed now. I think. Kalem tried to micro them a little bit so he doesn't stand in yeah, the yeah, grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the beginning it worked, and he, now he's yeah. getting a turret up. These turrets are really good against infantry. Yeah. We have some sneakers coming behind the lines, Where? but he saw it immediately because in the south. Ah, I don't know. Are we in sync here, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm a bit far ahead, maybe. I think so. Are you maybe? But. Uh, let's see the money of the players. Okay, thousand, two thousand. So they still have some cash left here. Mm. We can make some counters, but I think the GDI army is just so big. Yeah, and Carl M is almost out of cash. He's starting selling buildings now. I think that is over. Also, the medics, they heal some units. That's also great here. Oh, that's what the sound does, okay. Yeah, yeah, this... Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, this is the... It uh, sounds very healing. I, I yeah, feel yeah, healed yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ASMR stuff. Yeah. Down to the last building. So this makes... Uh, 
66 man Lord ist fair genug, the World Champion. And Carl M, the Vice World Champion. Uh, Congratulations to 66 man. It, it was a great match, a great final. I mean, the, this is the perfect map. It's actually um, not from uh, the guys who make this mod, but from a community contributor. Um, it's a famous map in uh, Euros Revenge, or, uh, Red Alert 2. Uh, where it's always funny to have some close quarter carnage. So it was a pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye.